The most common question I probably get is when to use which mapping method and when. Mapping methods are really helpful. They help align a team. They help create a visual representation of all of our different mental models. But there's a lot of them out there and they're often confused. I'm gonna run through four that are commonly used, what their defining characteristics are and when to use them. The first being an empathy map. An empathy map is divided into four quadrants, says, thinks, does, feels. It helps us get into the user's mindset. Who are they and what drives them? Second are customer journey maps. They create a narrative of what our user is going through as they interact with our product or service. They can lead to insights of where the pains are, what delights them. Next is experience maps. Now, experience maps are often confused with customer journey maps. And that's because they are generally very, very similar. The only primary distinction is that experience maps are not affiliated with a specific product or service. Rather, they highlight a general human behavior, like childhood development or pregnancy. And then last but not least is service blueprinting. Think about service blueprinting as a part two to customer journey maps. They highlight what the employees have to do in order to produce that customer journey. Regardless of what mapping method you're using, there are always three decisions you have to make before you begin. The first is, are you mapping current state, what happens today, or to be, what you want to happen in the future? Second, are you basing it on a hypothesis, assumptions that you'll then go and validate, or are you basing it into research that you've gathered from field studies or surveys? And then third, what fidelity are you gonna be working in? Is it important to have a really polished artifact or can it be low fidelity with post-its on a wall? The benefits from any kind of mapping activity are twofold. First, it forces conversation. It makes everyone align on one mental model that is quite literally up on the wall. The second is that it creates a shared artifact. That shared artifact can then be distributed or used to communicate what your team has aligned on. Regardless of what map you use, it should act as a single point of truth as your team continues to move forward.